Hi guys, how's it going? Uh, today I thought we'd have a look at the vacuum pump, just because it's one of those things that, I don't know, the people who are new to the game might not know about, people who are old might not know about, I doubt it, if you've been playing the game for a while now you will know about this, but if you're new to the game, the vacuum pump can be used to harvest. And what we've got here is four little things set up, because we're going to kind of go through about how it works and what it can offer you. So what we've got set up here is we've got a top down. So this is above crops, see how much that harvests. This is pointing at the crops. So again, we'll see how much this harvests. This is pointing at the crops, but on the angle, because I'm intrigued by this one. This is something that I've not looked at. And then this one is, well, it's pointing towards the crops, but it's on a piston. And this is more of a timing thing. So we'll see if you need a repeat on the vacuum pump or you know how frequently it will pump. So first things first, we'll look at this top-down one. This is one thing that, this might be the way that most people build their vacuum pump harvesting malarkey, is to have it above. Now, you can have it above or, you know, above, but I've just put it this high just for kind of test purposes. Now, if you don't know, a vacuum pump will harvest a three by three farm plot. So you should get nine. As long as you point that into the middle plot, so it's pointed here into the middle plot here, you should be able to get this three by this three here. I've done a three by four just to try and show you guys. So as we're ready, we'll flick the switch to the vacuum pump. And as you see, it has harvested the three by three. It's not wide enough. It doesn't have a wide enough arc to get the four. And no, it doesn't matter if I put it higher. It doesn't have like a cone of influence any further than three by three. So we'll have a look over here. Now, as you see with this one, I've built this right up against the soil. That is literally the end of the block there before it goes into the next set of blocks. So we'll see what the range is on this bad boy. In theory, I think it should be three again, but I'm not too sure. I've done it four, just in case it is a little bit longer. Uh, and again, it's, it's quite wide, but we'll see what this one does. So interestingly enough, with it being right kind of up against the last edge, it only gets two, but it still gets that kind of three width wise. So uh, that's interesting. I thought it would get this row, but apparently it doesn't. It only gets the first two. On to this one. So this one is set at a 45 degree angle from straight, if you like. If it was straight, it looked straight up here. But it's on the wonk, so it's going across diagonally. And I don't actually know what this will cover. I don't even know if it will reach this one or what. But if we were to look at these two, we know that it should get at least a sort of width of two so maybe potentially if we can get up it should get this one and then maybe this one but i, I honestly don't know so i've thought i surrounded it with a load of crops just in the hope that uh if there's any kind of over spillage thing we'll see where it goes but if i can get to the switch uh if i can get to the switch and give it a switch okay that's interesting so it got the two sides right next to it and it got the one in front of it i was expecting it to get those three but then it got that one there and that one there now i would have thought that it would have got this one as well because of like obviously the range of that and the range of that i thought it would have got these these three corners as well uh i guess not but okay that's interesting in nonetheless and then finally we've got this so what we've got here is the first piston's really slow and the second piston is really fast and that's to extend to the full length of this row now the reason why i got it like this is when i click the button because the button is connected to both pistons this is going to zoom down and then it will go slowly and this will let you see sort of how uh fast i guess the vacuum pump kind of pumps so i'll put the vacuum pump onto this switch so it all triggers at the same time i can't remember if it will just like continuously loop through it looks like it will so we'll just have to see what happens yeah so as you can see it does pulse so anything that's in front of it when it pulses will get harvested but because of its speed it, it can't just like suck up really quick it can't just go boom 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 now obviously that missed because i've got the switch here let's turn this one off so here so we're constantly on and now if we bring this back in it will pick up 
yeah, nice and steady. So obviously, the slower you move these things, the better it is for it if you're trying to harvest a wide range of crops. If you have it too fast, it just simply doesn't pulse quick enough. It's about a one second pulse by the looks of it. So yeah, just keep your speeds nice and slow and you'll be sorted, you'll be able to do it. So, in a quick deduction, I would say that potentially the best way to have it is from above. You seem to be able to get the most coverage of a 9x9. It gets the most range, it gets the most distance, and uh, it seems to be the one that is most effective. Take it, if you're going to move it, move it s slowly. Not ridiculously slow, but you've got to keep that pulse in mind. So, if this is going to move, I don't need it to suck for this set. I wouldn't need it to suck for this set, but if I had another set of soil here, for example, and then the next set of fields would be here. So what we're saying is, okay, so it's harvested this set of nine, so then it doesn't need to suck here, doesn't need to suck here. But then if it goes again, it gets triggered here on this set, it harvests that set of nine, including those three and the three that would be there. So I think if you move it slow enough, Let's have a look here. Put this down to slow. We're only worried about that first piston. Boom. Boom. So that piston's on its slowest speed. That's probably quick enough. And you'd be able to harvest what you need. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Bye for now. Bye, guys.